Maka's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here, continuing with our Dead Space Remake collectibles guide, including things like logs, nodes, weapons, upgrades, and schematics. This is chapter two. Right at the very beginning of the chapter, we will unlock the Kinesis module, which is required for progression of the game. Just after earning your Kinesis module and moving some blocks aside to gain access to the hallway, you'll walk through the door. Directly in front of you, you'll find a security officer who will drop you your second weapon, known as the Pulse Rifle, so make sure you pick it up off the ground before moving on. It also has a pretty cool secondary fire, although it can really eat through ammo. There's also achievements and trophies for getting a certain amount of kills with each weapon, so you can start using this one to get that as well. You'll continue playing through the mission. You'll enter a room where you have a bit of a split path. We're going to go for the tank first, as that's where the in-game waypoint system will take you. And that's going to be the easiest way to do it. And if you follow that marker, you'll go through image diagnostics. In one of the first rooms you enter, you'll have to kind of clear the way using your kinesis. At the back of the room, you can interact with the circuit breaker on the wall in order to open up the offices instead of opening up the elevator. And if you backtrack a little bit to where we entered from, you will have opened up a new room. And inside of here, you can find a log called Patient Harris. I hear the tests on Patient Harris right Additionally, not far from this collectible, we can also find Node 5. Feel free to loot the room as well, but you will be locked out of a couple of the crates until later if you want to backtrack. But if you go back towards the circuit breaker, you would have also opened up this office here, which is the diagnostics technician room, I guess. Inside of there, on the far wall, you can find another node. You'll then take the elevator from the circuit breaker we were just at. There will be some enemies and you will have to use Kinesis to make a bridge for you to cross. If you follow the waypoint, it will take you down the hallway to your right, but there's a pretty obvious room directly in front of you known as the Observation Room. You'll want to go inside there and find the text log called Calculated Risks on one of the beds. Now, once you reach the end of this first split path, you'll end up grabbing the tank and then you'll be tasked with backtracking towards the central room. You'll have to take a slightly different route than the one we came from. And on your way down from the zero gravity area, you should be able to find the pulse round schematics directly in front of you. After returning to the main room, we'll go and find the other part we need, which is the shock pad. And you'll go into this kind of laboratory. There will be a bunch of enemies, which I've taken out, and then the lights will turn on. At the bottom of that elevator, if you go to the first room on your left, you will find a log called Nicole's Story. And this is going to be step one for a side mission called Scientific Methods. We're going to need that log in order to be able to not miss out on things later on. Additionally, in this room, you can find another log called Anonymized Transcript. And then if we head out into the main room, we can walk to the back and there are some washrooms here and some shower stalls. And inside of one of the shower stalls, we can find yet another log. This one is called They Defy Death Itself. So we'll pick that up. There is a couple more things to grab before we leave. But if we then go back into the kind of main uh, area of this laboratory, we can go into the center room. This is Dr. T. Kine. Uh, their office and inside of here you can find the log called marker discovery You can also use your kinesis to move over the bookshelf and find some credits in the back uh, And activate their computer if you want more backstory But then if we'd actually go towards where the marker is taking us to find the shock pad We will go to the main changing room here and inside we can find the stasis pack schematics then from there, if we follow along the main path towards the shock pad, you can just follow your mission marker there. Again, you can't really miss any of these main areas. It's the side rooms or the collectibles you might miss. You'll end up getting towards the biological genetic center, I believe. And inside of this room, after a small little sequence, you'll be able to find a log called vital personnel in the corner. From the previous log location, you'll take the elevator up. This will be al again along the main path towards the shock pad. There's a couple of side rooms you may want to loot for credits and ammo. But if you end up inside of the sanitary showers, the next room over is uh, limb simulation therapy. And here you can flip open the circuit breaker to find the shock pad, but you can also find a node in the corner of the room. 
After putting together the shock pad and the tank and blowing open the hole, you'll now be able to try to find the captain's body. As soon as you enter the clinic, you should be able to find the plasma cutter upgrade on the bench to your left. There is a nearby node, but we won't be able to pick it up now. We'll have to wait until later. However, if we do turn around and we head into this next room, which is the emergency room, there's a bunch of stuff to do. The first thing you want to do is to grab the text log on one of these patient beds for a quick log. Additionally, in this room is the next step towards the scientific methods side mission, which we'll need to do if we want to grab logs as well as unlock as many achievements and trophies as possible. Near the middle of the room, you may see a hologram. It depends on whether you got here and fast enough, but the hologram will play out for probably about 20 or 30 seconds. Let it play out, but after it is done, make sure you go up to the computer and interact with it. And here you should get an optional objective to show up on your screen, which says follow Nicole's hologram. At this point, you can go up to the circuit breaker, change the circuit to the left, look to your left and use your kinesis to open up this secret door. And inside of this secret door, you can find Nicole's study. It's a log as well as the next step we need in order to complete this side mission. If you also open up your inventory and go to your log, this one will get sorted under side missions. As you work your way towards the captain's body, you'll end up in the emergency room hallway B, and then there is a door, and just to the right of that door is a pretty obvious log called Rats in the Wall, so pick that up. Before we go through that wall, there's a couple more things to grab. At the end of the hallway to your right is Colony's Problems, so make sure you pick up that audio log as well. And just to the right of Colony's Problems, look to the wall and you will find node number seven. You can now continue forward and go to the morgue. Once you take the elevator down to the morgue, walk inside and you should be able to find the autopsy report along the right hand side wall. You can do this before or after you interact with the captain and the captain will also grant you security clearance level one, which will allow us access to new areas. So once we do get maximum security clearance one, you'll take an elevator and your objective will be changed. You'll be asked to go to the hangar bay. We're gonna grab two nodes in this area before we leave and complete the mission. The first one is pretty obvious. If you take the elevator up right next to where the morgue was, you'll end up back in the emergency room and directly outside of the emergency room, you can find another node. Now, the next one has a little bit of backtracking, but from the previous node, which was next to the emergency room, we can make our way back into this kind of hub, hub room, go to imaging diagnostics wing, then we can go through the coolant pipes side room. Now, some enemies will spawn here, even if you run back and forth, I've taken them out, they just kind of keep respawning, you might be able to farm kills here if you have a lot of ammo. But if you run through here, this is where we found one of the schematics earlier on. This next door through here is the zero G therapy. We'll be able to fly up and we've been here. We were in this hallway earlier. However, we didn't have clearance to enter one of the side rooms. As you get into the next hallway, keep your eye out to the left, go inside there. There will be like three lockers. There will be a panel on the side and there will be a node. So make sure you pick that up before you complete mission two. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.